Hello everybody, welcome. Today we got another reaction, man. We got the Scream series. Shout out to Rachel Olsen for commenting on one of my videos and recommending this show. For those of you guys who've been, you know, subscribed to the channel and have been with me since the beginning, um, go ahead and comment, man. Let me know what movies out there you guys uh, would like me to watch. I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Right now we're kind of exploring that whole horror genre and we're watching and reacting to a lot of the horror legends such as chucky a whole chucky series in the channel go ahead and check out the playlist hey man we love ghostface i love ghostface i'm a big fan i'm excited for scream 6 um a lot of news coming out of scream 6 it's gonna be in new york so i'm excited for that sydney's coming back what a time to be alive so Thank you guys for everybody who's been, you know, watching the channel. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing, man, as I'll be dropping content like this year round. I've heard about this series and for some reason I just never had the chance to or just never watched it. Can't go wrong with Ghostface. So we're going to go ahead and check out this series. Thank you again, Rachel Olsen, for commenting. Made me realize like, hey, damn, there's a Scream series out there and I have not seen it. And if you guys know any other movies, go ahead and comment below. Recommend me some fire ass movies. Sit back, relax, man. Grab a cup of coffee. Grab a drink. Grab a beer. Grab some popcorn. Grab whatever you need to grab to get comfortable and let's jump into this series. Jeez, why can I get the views like that? Bella Thorne. Of the, food chain. the weak are outed and then eaten. Wow, you are a mean drunk tonight. Oh, please, you agreed that clip was too good to try. Officer, she made me do it. Tyler, you are skating on restraining order lake. That's why you locked the front door. Bro, there's no way. We're getting an introduction kill? Outdoor speakers on. Set up right there. Got the motion sensors, the lights. Nice little touch. So oh, there it is. Facing away, you gotta face towards the door. Vibes, though. I fuck with the vibes. Get over here and do something about it. She types fast. Heads up. You're gonna get sliced and diced. Okay. Heads up. <laughs> wow. Okay. Intro kill, not bad. 
Well, actually, I, I believe I read on the description of, on Netflix, I think it said Wes Craven was a producer for this, if I'm not mistaken. Very, very sorry. He's the killer. Just don't do it again. Lady of the hour. Today is going to suck exceptionally hard. What? Well, we got somebody in a, with a fucking camera and... She was bound to come out one day. Look at her. What's the big deal if she is a lesbian? Okay, the big deal is it wasn't her decision to tell the world. That's right. You fucks! Jake? I wasn't the only one on that group threat. No, she did the wild All of them are dead. Of course it was Nina. She's a spoiled sociopath with no impulse control. Oh, I mean, executive producer right West Craven. To avoid your good girl I get it. Nobody wants to sit around reading 500 dusty pages about monks and curses, but nobody's forcing you to watch The Walking Dead. Ooh. Aaron's right. Gothic genre is all over TV right now. You have American Horror Story, you have Bates Motel, Hannibal. What about Texas Chainsaw or Halloween? Uh, those are slasher movies. So, you can't do a slasher movie as a TV series. Think about it. You know, girl and her friends arrive at the dance, the camp, the deserted town, whatever. The killer takes them out one by one. 90 minutes later, the sun comes up as the survivor girl is sitting in the back of the ambulance watching her friend's bodies being wheeled past. Slasher movies burn bright and fast. Okay, I fuck with this. TV needs to... I like this editing right here. You know, by the time the first body is found... Who's Brandon James? Uh, he killed a bunch of students 20 years ago. He, um, he cut some others up. This is him. And his dad got stabbed. I don't know. Some guys like sports. I like serial killers. And Brandon James is my Dallas Cowboys. He was a classic case of the deformed kid who lived in the shed. Mom homeschooled him. Dad was ashamed of him. His older brother, Troy, was the only one who cared about him. Whenever he went out, he wore this post-op surgical mask. They tried to fix his face a few times. Never really worked. That's a good origin for the Joker right there. His brother said Brandon was obsessed. Wrote her anonymous love letters. Made her little carvings. Brandon found her at the Halloween dance. He got up the nerve to talk to her. It went okay at first. But then a bunch of drunk jocks jumped him. They thought they were saving her from a monster. I just wanted to be with you. You promised you weren't gonna hurt him. Nobody ever knew who she was. Oh my goodness. Fuck yes. 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 I love this already, man. Levels, man. It's just a body now. It kind of always was just a body, but top shelf all the way. Hey, man, have some respect. I have extreme respect. And so did most of the basketball team and some of the football team and a couple of lacrosse Stop. Here. Stop. And I'm sure the sheriff is going to... The guy? Um, where were you Monday night, Jake? I was with Will. Up to no good. But you told me your phone died and you were stranded. No. I was. Jake picked me up. Like these, like these teenage slashers, man, are always just very interesting to watch. I mean, you can't lie. You get just interested in seeing who survives and who the killer is. And that's always a good formula to, to run to. But of course, and the best ones is where they have just, you know, each character is different in their own way and each character brings you know, just the level to the to the story, to the plot, and having backstories and backstories and having all those emerge at the end, that's what makes a good slasher, man. That's why Scream 1 was fucking fire. And I love how we have a backstory already. He's dead. You want to wear an orange jumpsuit for the rest of your life? Fine, just don't take me down with you. Bro, I don't want that. Hi. Uh, I know this has been a rough week for you. How you holding up? 
Devastated, of course. The investigation and all. She I walking up to him like that. Discontinue our study sessions. Okay. But what exactly am I supposed to do on Saturday night when you call me after a few scotch and sodas and ask me if I'm wearing any underwear? That's fucked Rick, up, this cannot my God. end well. The answer is I'm not wearing any. It's fucked up. Was it FedEx? What's that? Do you know anyone named Daisy? Oh my god. Here we go. Here we go. I'm not a lesbian. I get it. I mean, you're bi-curious. If I was alone in the car with Scarlett Johansson... <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, Em. I miss you too. Okay. Got some history between them. Uh, just so happened to be the last one. Was your picture in the paper last week? Uh, yes, yeah. My mom did that. Clearly without asking. <laughs> I was the same age as Emma the night of the murders. I feel like it's happening again. <laughs> yes, it is. Fuck. Scared. Let's not negate that. I'm not scared. <laughs> this guy's trying to mack. Maybe we should be afraid. Saying that you're glad that she's dead? No, I, I'm just saying our lives would be a little more sane now. <laughs> Yours will certainly be less complicated. Um. We were on a break. And you said you wanted some time to think. We were on a break for less than a month. Is your dad home? <sighs> Told people the garage was off the limits. Be right back. She's going alone. A party like this. You're she's dying, bro. But she's gonna die right now. She's dying. If you ever get between him and me like that again, I will break you. I, uh, I should get back to my friends. Do you even like them? What? I mean, are you supposed to like your friends in high school? I hope so. I believe so. I could use one. The tension. Oh, she just did it. Your friends are great, Emma. Thank you for the invite. Come on. That's his pops. Sheriff Hudson is your dad. Because this wasn't awkward enough already. Stop. Yo, that, that, that mask is kind of... I fuck with it. Why are you crying? What? I hate to see you so sad. Are you watching me? Okay! It's what you want, right? On Instagram and Facebook. Perfect smiles, perfect lives. But I know the truth. I'm Your the voice? one that's gonna lift the mask. You really want to know how it ends? Let me tell you. Everyone has secrets. Everyone tells lies. There's no one left. What the f Damn! Oh my god! Great first episode. Fucking lit. I can see why. Mm. Give me more. What if I'm already here? What was that? Audrey? 
You're scaring me. Where are you? Yo, yo, this is tough. <laughs> oh my fuck! Title card. We get an intro kill. Every episode. Topsy of a crime. This is Piper Shaw. Brandon James. Damn, man. Walking the streets, you can hear terrified locals wondering. Brandon James. I mean, you really think it's healthy to have an obsession with a serial killer? Brandon's actually classified as a mass murderer. You know, he killed them all the same night. That's you ever crazy. contacted anyone related to the events of that evening? Yo, grab some zen. Forget about the scout from Duke. Forget about Emma. You sh son of a- Thank you very much. Girl from the Have podcast? Day. You too. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. So, I'm trying to get past all of the faux BFF BS and get a clear picture of the real Nina Patterson. Did any of you know her? Yeah. Nina was a stone-cold bitch who got what she deserved. That is pretty clear. Can I quote you on that? No. No. <laughs> She's just Bro, fuck you know, it. a sad statement at the decline of our public schools. That's the wrong answer. I swear I didn't I should have used the spray stuff. I got paint all over me. I looked like Carrie at prom by the time I got home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what the press. I haven't seen that movie, Carrie. I know the like the storyline. Or at least I saw it when I was a kid, but I don't recall any of it. This doesn't have to be over. Hey. Do you have a problem? Oh, that's my locker. And I'm pretty sure I'm just done talking to you. Okay, my guy? Just stay out of this Abercrombie. Do you want some dueling pistols or something? <laughs> Very slow on that one. My guy's smooth. And, uh, FYI, I don't usually kiss guys in greenhouses. Bags. James Giff put us on the map, Mr. B. I mean, we've got like seven of the top ten trending hashtags. All right, Will Graham. Here we go. What is this killer's design? Well, murder's a lonely game. Music. Say you're the killer, okay? You sneak into Nina's house, you skulk around and scare her, bread out in the water, thinking your crazy guy thoughts. Creepy monologue alert. It's the age of Instagram and YouTube and Tumblr. I mean, That's we crazy, need to man. share the things we do, or it's like it never happened. They're died. No way. Rack what focus. How did it happen? Did you see that Don't rack say. focus out there? Man, this is kind of fucking intense, bro. Everyone around is just dying. Is everything okay? I got your text. Someone is pretending to be me. Hey. Kissed him at the party in the greenhouse. And it felt great. <laughs> Guess I deserve that. You could use some caffeine. Look, honey, I usually don't mind you visiting me at work, but this one's a little disturbing. You just casually walks in there. Yeah, she had some Looking at dead bodies. Cyberbullying video. Was Audrey the one Rachel was kissing? Yeah. And I'm the one that fucking recorded it. You know, was the one who filmed them. I'm sorry. The injuries don't make sense with where we found her. You mean hanging from a ceiling fan? Exactly. Her neck snapped. She would have to fall from much higher up for that to happen. Which means it's possible that Rachel didn't commit suicide. Well, I'd have to finish the autopsy to be sure, but yes. All right, let's see if they can ball. Let's see if they can ball. I don't mean to fucking talk shit about the actors that can't ball, but you know it'll be more convincing if they had that, you know. Handles the euro. 
Riley? Oh, my man's gonna get gutted. Um, I'm here. Riley! No, the, the lights go off. This killer has access to everything, man. Jeez. Oh shit, it was her. <laughs> You're like a ninja. That's racist. What? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean like. Come on. <laughs> what? They got me there. They got me. Okay? Little Ali, you? Okay, you see, I like that. For me or something. And then he showed up. What? It's classic. Messes with your head and then rescues you. My man's no got way. a point. Did he ask you for one little favor? Something that tugged at your heartstrings? These are really good. Come on, my man, just just lean in. Basil cucumber martini. Always shaken. Never stirred. Do it. Are you a virgin? What? Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm like a any girl. Hey. Good. It's me neither. Oh. Come on, let's kick it up. Here we go. I was about to say, let's kick it up a notch. Pretty, we got an alarm notice at your house. Can you give me your name and code word? Um, my name is Emma Duvall, and the code word is uh, amethyst. Um, I, I just found my kitchen door open. Just take a deep breath, Emma. We got a patrol nearby. He can be there in a few minutes. Should I maybe go wait outside? You're safer inside. If no, I'll go outside. Again, he probably took off when the alarm sounded. It's him on the phone, right? Okay. I love the vibes. I love the the tone. How to get away with murder? Yeah, that one's pretty good, I guess. I like a strong female lead. You sound pretty tough yourself. If that guy's still in your house, maybe he should be afraid. Don't even joke about that. Sorry. Uh, so what else do you like? This guy's Comedy? fired, bro. Horror. Definitely not horror. Real life is scary. You do look tired. Bro, this. What? You, you tired. fuck yes. Tough. <laughs> if you were in this house, what are you talking about? Your two faced friends. Your fraud of a family. Your whore of a mother. It all started with her, Emma. But it's gonna end with you. The score! See you soon. Well, people, great beginning, man. We're off to a great start. I mean, I can't believe I have not watched this show, man. It's very, it's interesting. I like a lot of aspects and elements to this show. And as I mentioned, man, in, in the series, you can really just uh, stretch out characters, stretch the story out just a bit more. Got a full series worth of, you know, storytelling and building up, you know, suspense plots and so far the dialogue is good it has that screen formula of course you got your guy who uh your film geeks who kind of you know who kind of speaks to the audience you got your you know typical boyfriend the cast is good man the cast is game uh, i fuck with the cast solid show man i mean i'm excited to see the rest this is a uh, three-part series that i'll be doing so this is part one so go ahead and hit that thumbs up man and consider subscribing so you can be notified when i drop part two drop a like man let me know what you think i'm excited man i'm excited to finish the rest of this show so i'll see you guys in the next video peace